who is listed as your beneficiary or beneficiaries on your retirement accounts or your pension plan. Today, three reasons why we should be checking today. Number one, life happens. Life changes constantly. We're always seeing people get married or divorced or having new children or experiencing the death of a loved one. And that impacts our finances. Imagine you have a retirement plan or a pension plan that has a beneficiary on there from years and years ago. Maybe it's an ex-spouse and you end up unexpectedly passing away and your retirement money that you've saved all these years or your pension plan that you've saved all these years accruing ends up going to someone you don't want it to go to. As crazy as that might sound, it happens and it can create financial havoc, which leads me to number two, legal and tax implications. If your beneficiaries are set up wrong, it could also lead to unintended tax consequences for those who you're leaving money to. Again, imagine you end up having someone inherit your hard-earned retirement savings or pension. And the whole family knows it really was a mistake and should have been changed many, many years ago. That's going to lead to family financial disputes, family infighting, lawyers have to get involved, and it really becomes a nightmare that can be so easily avoided. Just checking in with and updating your beneficiaries on all your retirement plans can avoid all of those worries. Here's a real life story we've probably all heard in some way, shape, or form, Jen, was a teacher here in the state of Georgia that worked many, many years in the TRS system. Saved in her 403B and accrued a very nice monthly pension. She was happily married to Steve, who was a really nice guy. They got along for years, but for one reason or another, the marriage did work out and Jen ended up getting a divorce from Steve. A few years later, Jen wonderfully found someone new and got happily remarried. She'd always wanted to have children, but never could with Steve. And fortunately and wonderfully was able to have a daughter named Emily. Well, Emily was her entire life, like all of our children are to us. And Jen wanted her to have a stable financial future, like all of us as parents for our children. Sadly, when Emily was only 14, Jen unexpectedly passed away in a car wreck. So sad and so devastating for the family. But here's where the story gets even worse. Jen, in her mind, of course, wanted to secure Emily's financial future. And in her mind, of course, all of her beneficiaries were Emily. But when the dust settled and her estate was all figured out, the family noticed that Jen had never changed her beneficiary. It was still her ex-husband, Steve, and not Emily. As you can imagine, that led to great financial chaos. Lawyers got involved, family infighting. That money should never go to Steve. That money's for Emily. But the legal documents didn't say that. It's a sad, but such an avoidable story. And number three, and maybe most importantly, we want to make sure our wishes, our financial wishes are being honored. If your intention is to leave money to your children, your grandchildren, and it ends up going to someone who is now estranged from the family or maybe some sort of ex-spouse, really all your hard-earned savings is going to some place that you really would rather not go. So these are three reasons we need to check and update and make sure our beneficiaries are current on all our retirement plans. It's simple, it's easy to do, and will give you incredible peace of mind.